if we're going to make it home. Yep. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. I believe God wants each and every one of us to have that treasure. I believe He wants us to have it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. He wants us to have that treasure, Brother George. Yes, He does, brother. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. You know what that treasure is? That treasure is, just like Sister Sandra said this morning, His Word and His Spirit yeah. abiding inside of us. That's Glory what it is, yes. yes. Praise the Lord. I don't even know where I need to start. How about that? Praise the Lord. You ever seen a preacher get up and get any know where to start, what to read, or where to begin? Come on, brother. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let the Lord have His way, brother. Know Lord. what I'm talking about. Obey the Lord. Who's praying for me this morning? Pray I am, Lord. I am. Lord. Yeah. Glory to God. There's just something going on in the in the midst this morning that the, that the devil don't like. <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know what? The devil wants to stop every one of us, Sister Shirley. He don't want us to come to church. He don't want us to pray. He don't want us to to to, to get God glory and pray. He don't want us to love our brothers and yeah. sisters. He don't want us to love our sister. He don't want us to come together in one mind and unity of the Spirit. He wants to keep us separated. He wants to keep us divided. And He wants to conquer us if He can. But you know what? We're serving a living God. Yes. yes. Amen. A God that's able. Praise the Lord. You know, I just thought, I don't know why this came back to me. This was in the Sunday school lesson this morning. Praise the Lord. But you know what? Sarah, <laughs> you know what she did? She tried to help God out a little bit, didn't she? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Lord, may I never have to have to try to help him out. He, he's capable of doing his yeah. job. Praise the Lord. God don't need my help to understand. Praise the Lord. He's able to do his own. See, you know what she was looking at? She was looking at the physical surroundings, the circumstances in her life, her age and her, her uh, physical unability and those kind of things. But that doesn't matter to God. <laughs> Can somebody say amen? It doesn't matter to God. Praise the Lord. Yeah. When God says it's so, it's so. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. All God has to do is say, it's okay, Sister Sandra, and guess what? It's okay. Yes, the world is. might not always like it. Come on. You can folk might not always like it. Come on. Praise the Lord. Even sometimes the one sat beside your church may not like it. Come but on. if God says it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Come on. Yeah. The Lord. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody told me one time before I ever started preaching, I was, I was so bashful and so shy that it took everything. I mean, say, say, Sister Tammy, God would have to hit me with a double dope before I'd even stand up and say amen. Come on. They come prophesying to me, said, God, going to give you the boldness of the line, and I'm saying, no. That's how I felt. That's what the devil wanted me to do, Sister Tammy. Yeah. He wanted me to feel like a kid, but God said I wasn't, praise the Lord. You know what? I believe that came to pass, Sister Sandra, because when I feel the glory and the power of God, y'all know what I'm talking yes. about, glory to God. When I feel the glory and the power of God, I don't feel like no kidding, Sister Brother John. I don't feel like no kidding, praise God, the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Now, the devil wants every one of us to be kittens, don't he? He'll, let, he'll keep us sit down and shut up if he can. I'm spitting yep. on you again, Eric. I'm sorry about that. Come on. Praise the Lord. She told me, she said, Daddy, you spit all over me during service. I'm sorry. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I like it when a preacher spits on me anyway, especially when he's under an anointing, because I'm getting some of it on yeah, me. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Glory to God. Woo! Praise the Lord. I believe God's in the house this morning. Can y'all feel it? Yeah. Praise Glory to God. Yeah. I believe God's in our presence this morning. Don't you praise the Lord? Has anybody, has anybody felt the glory and the power yeah. of God in this place this morning? Come on. Glory to God. Praise Glory the Lord. Yeah. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brother Derek, I knew I was supposed to preach. You're on target, brother, but I just don't know where I'm supposed to go with it. Glory to God. So all I'm doing, y'all, all I'm doing is waiting upon the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, sometimes that's all we can do, Sister Barbara. It's just wait patiently and endure. Can y'all do that with me this morning? I went that in our lesson this morning. Wait patiently and enduring. Can y'all wait patiently, women, just a little bit and endure until God gets through with what He wants to do? Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. Praise the Lord. Sometime, you know, there was a bunch of them that went up before the Holy Ghost came down, Sister Sandra. But some of them left before that, before God showed up, didn't they? Yeah. What was it? 121? Was that what it was? Again? Uh, yeah. What, 500 to start yeah. with? And 120 was left. Amen. Some of them was willing to wait, Brother George. Some of them had to go home eat beans. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. Do you hear what I'm saying? They was in a hurry. They had yeah. to get out of there. Yeah. Praise Come on. God. I don't know what he's up to this morning. I knew I was supposed to preach. I did. Praise the Lord. Don't that sound a little crazy in the natural? Sounds almost like having a child when you're nine years old, don't it? <laughs> 
Y'all hear what I'm saying? Come on, I'm talking man. about trusting what God said. Not trusting what it looks like. Yeah. Not what, trusting what it feels like. Not trusting what it seems like. Come on. That's what Sarah was doing, wasn't she, Sister Sam? She was looking at the natural, the carnal, the, the natural, uh, worldly uh, circumstances. She wasn't looking at what God told her. Yeah. And she He's even like yes, wanted to help God out. You not said, God, you. you know what? You need some help. Here's Hagar. <laughs> well, God didn't need Hagar. God's Word. <laughs> Y'all hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. When God says it, so I don't care if it looks impossible. I don't care if it feels impossible, sounds impossible. That don't matter to God. There is no impossibility with God. That's right. Y'all hear what I said? Yes. I said God can do anything He wants to when He takes an ocean and when He gets her in. Yes. Sometimes we get a little bit of hurry. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we do like Sarah. Let me help you out a little bit, God. It ain't happening quick enough. Come on. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Maybe this ain't never going to happen. Just like Sister Sandra said, she was wondering, God, you know, I know you told me. So where's it at? Uh-huh. <laughs> there all the time, what, Sister? Praise the Lord. Sometimes we go looking for something 10 miles away with something on her nose. Right there. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I've done that, Brother Derek. Went all over the place. Went all over the place. When I know where I belong the whole time. Oh, come on. Looking at the carnality. Looking at the physical status of it. Looking at what the devil was telling me. Now, did you think the devil, did you, what, did you just listen to the devil intentionally? No. Didn't even realize it was him at the time. <laughs> Jesus said he was a sly fox. Y'all don't think the devil's smart? He is. I ain't giving him no power. I'm in no glory this morning. I ain't giving him no honor. I'm like, I don't like him. He don't like me. But he, Jesus even called him a sly fox. Y'all know foxes are pretty smart. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yep, they will. Baby. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Man. You know Bless what me. God's fixing to do? Bless the Lord. Mark my word. What is today? 16th, 17th? 17th. Yes. Sunday, March the 17th at 1210. Come on, make it, bro. I'm telling you, I heard what the Holy Ghost said. Now, I wouldn't tell you that if I didn't know for a fact that it was the Holy Ghost because, you see, I would consider that blasphemy. There's no forgiveness for that. The only thing there's no forgiveness for, the only thing that God won't forgive you for is blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Now, if I told, 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 told you something to God, that I, if I made up something to tell you that God told me and the Holy Ghost said, said it and I told you the Holy Spirit said it, I consider that blasphemy. But I'm here to tell you God is going to do something absolutely spectacular. Amen. It's not my word. That's no. God's word. Yeah. I'm just speaking it for him. Amen. <laughs> Lord. You know, it might look like sometimes, Amen. Sister Sanders, there ain't three people in the seat. It might seem like we're not child no. like we ought to. It might seem like this or it might seem like that. It might look like that. It might feel like that. But I'm here to hear. I'm still here to tell you. God is fixing yeah. to do something spectacular. Woo! Praise the Lord. Man. Glory to God. Amen. I'm saying that because of the Holy Spirit. I'm not making it up. I'm not just trying to make Brother Derek feel good. I'm telling you what God Woo! told me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. You know why I believe it, Sister Sandra? Because there's love here. Because God's candlestick is here. God's power is here. we got a pastor that loves and obeys God. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. And a pastor's wife that loves and obeys God. we got yeah. people in this place here that love and obeys God. Praise yeah. the Lord. That's why God can do something. I've seen, people, uh, I've seen pastors that wouldn't let you behind their pulpit. I don't know if it was jealousy. I don't know if they just didn't believe God. I went to places when the Lord said, but that preach, Sister Sandra. And the preacher would... Don't ask everybody in the house to testify. And I just sat there. Mm-hmm. Lord didn't tell me to testify. He told me to preach. Amen. I just sat there, Sister Shirley. He asked everybody in the house, Are you sure there ain't nobody else here needs to testify? Somebody else needs to testify. I look around. I said, Ain't everybody to testify? Everybody but me. God didn't tell me to testify. Finally, he just said, Brother ain't you going to testify? Ain't you got something new? <laughs> no, I don't want to testify. God didn't say there to testify. He said, I'm going to preach. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Had a word on my heart. Brother Derek went outside the steps. Saw him was absolutely going to break down and cry. Amen. Bless Have you ever done that? Have you ever just wanted to, 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 to be able to let just let go and let God do what He was wanting to do? Praise the Lord. But sometimes, sometimes, for some reason, but I, I've never known for that to happen, brother. I've never known Brother Derek to do that. I knew I was supposed to preach this morning, Sister Charlotte. 
devil didn't want me to because there was a part of me that said, you ain't got nothing to say today. You don't need to be up there. You ain't even got your thoughts together. You don't even know where you want to turn to. You ain't got nothing marked in your Bible. Come on, brother. Great. <laughs> but I knew, brother Derek. Yeah. And I had a feeling you probably would. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Come on, brother. <laughs> Y'all know who God is. Amen. Tell me, who is God? Somebody. He God. He God. He God. He's the great I am. He's the everything. Praise the Lord. It don't get no better. And it don't get no greater. And it don't get no higher than that, Brother Derek. I was talking to, to my baby, to my little girl the other day. And, 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 and I was talking to, who was it I was talking Oh, no. It wasn't her. Well, it probably was her one time. It was my brother this morning. And I was, at the time, I was talking about Penny. I was talking about my boss. And he said, I said, you know who my boss is? My brother said, yeah, I know who your boss is, God. I said, that's right, he is. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's my boss, Sister Sandra. Amen. He's Amen. the one that we all need to work for. Because I tell you what, he, the payment that we get from him is a whole lot better than what we're going to get in this world. Amen. Just let me go ahead and tell you something. The things of this world, guess what? Y'all don't know this. They're going to pass one. Yeah. Yeah. The devil don't want us to know that, Brother Derek. The devil don't want us to realize that one of these days, everything in this world is going to pass away. Yeah. One of these days, you know what? It dawned on me the other day, something, Brother George, I had a revelation. It dawned on me, one day I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great revelation, Brother John. It really was. Because, yep. you know, sometimes we don't really even think about it. We just go through life 90 miles an hour down the interstate. Yep. Give it two, two big old chunks and had the time. We've been in school for three weeks. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, we could leave here at any time, any place, any point. Yep. There's people that are left here that had plans. Yep. Plans for that night. Plans for the next day. Plans for next week. Uh -oh. But you know what? Plans for the day. Think about it. Praise the Lord. We don't know when the Lord's coming for us. Yep. It could be today. Why did I just feel that, Brother Derek? I just, maybe somebody needs to hear me. Come on, brother. I'm not saying nobody's going to die today, y'all. Don't, 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 don't get scared of me. Right I'm just saying that the Lord needs, uh, that somebody needs to hear what I'm saying about it. It could be any time. It is, it, it is appointed unto man once to die. Right. And after this, Judge. Judge. judgment. Yes. Bible says in another place, what would a man give in exchange for his soul? Amen. Wonder what that man, that, 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 that rich man wore the beggar laid at his gate, wonder what he'd give. Amen. Reckon he'd give everything he owned to get back and get another yeah. chance. I kind of oh, believe he would, yeah. brother Derek. You know he would. Kind of believe he would. What about that man that, 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 that Come on, now you wouldn't me. share with anybody, but he just, the more he got, the more he... Lord for Lord. himself, yeah. the bigger his barns got. He said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take care of myself, not worry about nobody else. Mm -hmm. Y'all know he didn't say just exactly that, but that's what his thoughts were, were they not? Mm -hmm. He was concerned about himself. He was concerned about yeah. what was going on in his life. He wasn't worried about nobody else. He was looking at everything worldly, and God said, because of that, you're a fool. Yeah. He's going to build bigger barns. Going to build bigger barns. That's right. Well, Praise the Lord. Going to build bigger barns. This day, he told that man, Thy soul shall be required yeah. of thee. Then whose the things yeah. should those be that you require? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Then whose things are those pay. things going to be? Yeah. Then whose are those things going to be? Yeah. Praise the Lord. You say, one of these days, it doesn't matter how poor we are. It doesn't matter how pretty we are. It doesn't matter how rich we are. It doesn't matter if we're in good health or bad health. We can leave either way. Yeah. That's right. At any time. Any time. Yeah. At any time. <clears throat> Anytime. Hallelujah. Think about this. Because I thought about it when I realized, Brother John, I was going to die. <laughs> I mean, we go through life every day and we really don't think about it. Yeah. I mean, it just doesn't dawn on us that one day we're leaving here. And it could be today. It could very well be today. Yeah. Do you know, I'm, I'm thinking about this. And the next thing I begin to do, see, I'm saved and I know that. Deal with the Spirit of God, know that. Yeah. Baptized yeah. in the Holy Ghost, yeah. know that. Praise man. Lord. Come on, yes, glory. But you know, when it dawned on me, Brother Derek, one day, I'm going to die. I start praying, Brother George. Mm -hmm. You know what? I wasn't praying. God, I'm my boss give me a raise, even though he did. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but I wasn't praying. 
I wasn't praying, God, can you fill up my bank account with your heart?